Hey guys, welcome to the season finale of season 2 of the AC Milan Criminal. We're so kicking off with a big game against AC Milan. Now, if we win this game, we're going to clear at the top of the table by a few points, uh, depending on Napoli's results elsewhere. As you can see, AC Milan have a very good team. We also will have the Champions League semi finals in this episode, and maybe the final if we get through up against Liverpool. Let's not waste any time. Let's get into this game up against AC Milan. But first, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications so you don't miss a video. Let's get into it. Zarawi, this one a very big improvement. On a position that was actually, yeah, you know, I didn't really have to improve it. Begin with, but here's a great work from him. Is it Locatelli? And it's handballed by Kaidara in the box. It's going to be a penalty here. I just want to see the highlight again here. It is a clear handball by Kaidara. He blocks the strike. It was going in probably. From Locatelli, and I really wish this, this would stop happening. But Dusan Vlavic to open the score in here. 12 minutes in. Dusan Vlavic from the penalty spot does so. Finishes to see. And as things stand, it will be going clear at the top of the table. I don't know what the results are elsewhere with Napoli, obviously, but if we win this game, we will get our three points and go up to 80 points. I mean, we'll be like three or four points at the top of the table, I believe. There's a great point from Vlavic. And we're at 1 0. Locatelli. Kostic now into Locatelli. Locatelli now. Trevella attempt after crossbar. And we get the follow up attempt. No, we can't. It's great defending in the end, but the chance is still alive maybe here. It's Locatelli again here. Mazarawi now. Asole, can he hit this? Yes, he can. It's blocked. Do some Flavic though. There we go. That's 2 0. And we've got a 2 0 lead here, which is a dangerous lead, as I mentioned many a times. Because obviously, when you're 2 0, you become comfortable, you can relax, and then the other team can get one goal and they're back in the game. I can see the pressure mounted in the end, and Ismail couldn't defend after all these shots. And Dusan Vlatovic gets the second of the game here and fires the pass in Mediano Minus. I feel like it's going to come down to someone here. Okay, Liao's in here, and Chelsea makes a fantastic save. I can count here. It's a poor switch from Chiesa. Or is it to Pogba? It's Pogba offside. Pogba is not offside. The Trevella attempt saved by Martinez. And Foster Kostic into Chiesa. And that's 3 0 here. AC Milan just aren't the same side they have been in the past against us this game. We just caught them off guard. It was a side that just came at them. We just pressed them heavily. We've not allowed them any room to. Doing anything in this game, and we're freeing the up here before half time. A follow up attempt there, Kostic finds it, plays it into Keza, who just has a simple tap in. Okay, Mason Mount. Into Ketela, Mason Mount shoots, and Chesney, what a save. And that's going to be a handball against us. I want to see this because. Oh, still a rule in FIFA is even if it hits a handball, if it just hits a hand at any point, you know, there's not like a real life where it's like was it intentional. We really get, you can see anything from that angle, but the penalty goes bottom, goes left, and makes them out. Makes it three one. Two this was by Pogba this time. That's fantastic work from Kiersa though. Kiersa through to Pogba to make it four one. There we go. And poor Papa gets another goal. Towards the end of the season, this guy comes in with the goals. He scored more than he did last season, though. I believe, anyway. But towards the end of the season, as I mentioned, Papa decides, you know, I'm going to start scoring some goals. And it's a great through ball from Keza and a fantastic finish from Papa. Slabek and Bremer trying to get the ball here. Neither of them can do. It's whipped in, but Slabek able to just chest it away. And oh my god, another handball. So annoying. It's man getting back into this game because of handball. I come and save this penalty this time. Mason Mount goes top right this time and it's 4 2. That was Rowie. Okay, that wasn't comfortable dribbling there from him. Okay, Pogba. Through here. That should be a goal. There we go. Federico Chiesa makes it 5 2. 
And let's just hope history doesn't repeat itself. Oh, they're going to go down, have a, an attempt, and we're going to give away a handball in the box. It's going to be a penalty for Mason Matt DeBerry. But Kiers are here. What a season this guy's had in terms of like just importance to the team. He's not had the most goals, the most like assists. That's Dusan Vlahovic with the most goals. But in terms of just what he does on the pitch, this man is just incredible. And we're 5 2 up against AC Milan. He doesn't because he finds Pogba here. Pogba shot is blocked and it's going to be a free kick actually. So we've got a free kick attempt here. We haven't actually scored one, I don't think, this season. Let's see if Dusan Vlahovic can do. We hit the side net in last episode. Dusan Vlahovic from range Dusan Vlahovic and it's it's gone in Dusan Vlahovic gets a hat-trick here and we're fighting to score a free kick Dusan Vlahovic makes it 6-2 I believe yeah it's going to be 6-2 and we finally get a free kick going in I'm going to get there to see it here I thought mine has made the save that's why it's a bit uh, shut that actually went in because I saw him get a touch on it I believe it's actually a fantastic free kick from Vlavic, actually. That's a great free kick. Can we work for 6 2? Obviously, handball is our downfall. Well, not really our downfall, but we've only conceded two goals. But it's not looking good here. Rafael Leal, but Mazar Ali. That is incredible for him. Chesney closed it, and that's the end of the game. It's a 6 2 victory. Love to see it, and we go top of the table. The quits in this game up against Teddy and Turner here with the second team. Oh, other than Chesney and goals, I don't want to take any risks due to the point we are in the season. Because we need to get wins here to maintain our lead. We get a 1-1 draw. That's unfortunate. Okay, so here we are, the first leg of the semi-finals up against Liverpool. We're going to start our first team here. We're going to start the pie in this one. Messi is going to come on off the bench if we need him to come off the bench for Chiesa. But as you can see, Liverpool have a very good team. They've signed Marco Verratti. The only change I've made to their first team in terms of signings. I've obviously sold Fabinho to AC Milan, so they're playing Ka uh, Nabi Keita. That's senior, but not, let's not waste any time. Get into the game against Liverpool and have to get a win. It's in Vlavic. Federico Chiesa. Federico Chiesa, that's fantastic work for him. Finesse shot is blocked. Pogba though, plays it back into Chiesa. And we've won the lot here, five minutes in. The best start we could have asked for. And Federico Chiesa. Again. It's just the main man in this team, it seems like. At times it has been the likes of... Well, it's mainly been Dusan Vlavic at times. But Federico Chiesa, ever since we moved into centre forward, has just been incredible. That header in by Pogba was incredible. And it finished by Federico Chiesa on a volley there, on a half volley. That was fantastic. Pass Alisson, I think you could have that one. And we went up here. Depay now. The cross is on there, the pie now into the box, but we can't get ahead on the end of it, and it's actually going to be a penalty, apparently handball there by Joe Matip, I believe. Going to get to sit again by the, by the replay. I'm sure Matip handball the ball here. Yes, he does. We get a penalty, Dusan Vlavic steps up. And again, we get the tutorial, even though we're taking many penalties. Dusan Vlavic now, can he beat Alisson to make it 2-0? No, he can't. Alisson makes a fantastic save from the penalty. Followed up by the corner here. Kosic. Swooped in. Towards Bremer. Forced to Locatelli. He can't get the shot away in time. Got a chance to still alive here. Kosic. It's in and the header is saved by Allison. Great uh, slight touch on the ball, but we're not looking good here. Defensively, Luis Diaz is through. Chesney is at the post. Okay. Is someone, someone get a block in and get the ball away? Okay, how are we not Pogba? Do you want to do something there? Okay, the shot was taken there for Nunes. Corner whip to no. Luis Diaz. Okay, for a second. I thought that was going to be much more dangerous than it was. And not again. I have a given away a handball in that position. I have a given away a handball right here. I oh, come on, ref. There's not much Flavic can do about that one. But well, it's Mohamed Salah versus Chesney. And Chesney is beaten. And Liverpool are back in this game. Where's it at? Kostic. Kostic back into the centre. Towards Vlavic. Dusan Vlavic though, just no one was making a run. Tried to take the shot. It's out here to the pie. The pie though. 
Twists and turn and gets it back to Chiesa on the edge of the box. He shoots, but saved by Allison. And we managed to get a corner here. And that's the second of the game. And we get a good corner for Newcastle. It's whipped in. It's towards Dusan Flavic. But what a save by Allison. So here we are, the second leg of the Champions League semi final. As you can see, it currently sends up 1 1. And interesting team, the start of Morton. I believe it's not a high rated of a player, but they've got uh, Thomas Muller in their team, starting at a uh, certain mid this game. But let's not waste any time, let's get into this one up against Liverpool. Like you can see, Messi is going to be starting at Cam in this game. Let's, not, uh, let's get into this game and hopefully get a victory to go through to the final. Here, Thiago now. Okay, Thiago. Thiago shoots. I'm one or down here. I feel like we could have defended much better there. Especially on a win with, uh, I believe it was Masrawi's tackle. Up against Jota. We somehow didn't get the ball off. The Liverpool are one to look better at home. It's uh, not that challenge there, but it's not going to show it there. Great work there from Togo though. I feel like Chesney should save that actually. Looking at this again, a second time. Chesney should be making a save there. Do some Flavich. Plays it to Messi here. Messi. You know, Messi to put us back level here, but Allison makes a save. If it wasn't for Allison being a goal for Liverpool, we'd be clear of this game. And Flavich on the corner. Yeah, look at Telly. Yeah, I wanted that into Messi though. Flavich though. Flavich on the finesse strike, and it's just wide. Oh, fantastic work for Messi. Messi not. Plays it to Pogba, that should be a goal. Poor Pogba, Harvey missed. Plays it over to Pogba. Pogba this time gets a shot away. But again, Allison. if it wasn't for him, Liverpool are not even in this game whatsoever, even the first leg. Cross it, flips it in. It's towards the head of Bremer, but he can't get his head on it. Locatelli from range blocked and that should be a free kick, just a handball. Do we take this with Vlavic or Messi? I feel like we've got to go Messi. Got to try and just bend this one in here. You know, Messi. Put us back in this game here. You know, Messi. Okay, it's handball, penalty. Okay. Oh, my heart sank when I hit the crossbar. And we get a penalty here, Robertson handballs it. You can see there, a clear handball. Yeah, okay, Frank was telling me, how, telling me how to take penalties, but Vlavic now. Can he beat Allison? Do some Vlavic just so. And we're back in this. Let's get the ball. We should have had a free kick goal from Messi. But a penalty from Vlavic, we'll take it. And we're back in this one. Like it is a into Pogba. Messi, Messi now tripped up by tripped up by Jonathan Tarr, but it's going to volley that from range. I didn't mean to do a rainbow flick. I wonder if that's a good move where you know it does a hit tilt flick and switch his foot. Like you've seen me do a couple of times in this episode. But rim, uh, Messi decided, you know, I'm pulling the rainbow flick out. And just follows it from range, and what a goal that is. Messi is unbelievable. Last episode, I scored a goal of the season. That must be goal of the season now. What a goal from Messi to give us a lead in the Champions League semi final. Grimaldo shouldn't have been beaten by that. Schlabeck now. Schlabeck. Oh no, that was poor defending. Great defending, actually. Can't get the ball clear though. Okay, ball played through Muller. And how will Liverpool win this game, man? They do not deserve to be even close to going through to the final, honestly. How is Muller just so free there? Like, what is Schlaubert doing? And what is anyone doing? Why is no one on Muller? Yeah, that's now. Romaldo, great defending. Like Kostic, get that forward to Vlavic. Messi. Leo Messi to put us through to the Champions League final. Leo Messi, what a season this man's having here at Juventus. 
He may be what 36, 37 now in his career mode, but this man still has all the powers to send us through to finals and win us games. He scored two big goals this game. That long shot after the rainbow flick and this one possibly even bigger. 86 minute puts it past Allison to put us back in the lead here. I'll bring it forward here with Grimaldo, play it into Messi. Messi chopped out there. That's an awful challenge. I hope Messi actually isn't injured. Messi's getting up though. And that should have been a red there. Danny almost should have been sent off. Okay, Pogba. Power strike, blocked. Messi. Oh, not like this. Okay, there we go. Lionel Messi sends us through to the Champions League final. Up against Liverpool. But we've still got more to come. We still need to decide the lead title. So let's get into that. Okay, we're going to quit in this game against Sampdoria here. Go to the first team with a slight rotation of Vela in midfield for Pogba. And get through the victory courtesy of Vlavic, Chiesa and Vlavic getting a double. Love to see it. Here we're up big game up against uh, Atalanta and if we win this game we are Serie A champions. So we're going to play the highlights of this one and we are going to start Messi in this one just in case it gives us a title celebrations it shouldn't do. Obviously since we're not at home but we're going to play the highlights of this one. And uh, yeah hopefully get a win up against Atalanta. So the first that actually goes to Atalanta here. They weren't having the best season to be honest, they've been much better in the last season. Corner, uh, cross whipped in here. Lambert's on the header, sit by Chesney. Goes six minutes and we get an attack of our own here, Messi on the ball. Obviously does have an incredible, no it's actually Vlavic on the ball and there's Messi. Can actually find Messi here on the turn. Messi couldn't get the shot away though. There we go, got attack though. 20 minutes in. Actually he's Messi on the ball this time. Messi now trying to make that run in behind but Darun it would have to stop him now we get a corner though 35 minutes in and we do need to get a draw or a win here because if we win this game I believe we are guaranteed champions we work this one in towards the header Dusan Vlavic and he scores the header love to see it we one one up here it's going to get through this as quick as possible but uh, Atalanta actually have a uh, counter attack here before half time let's hope we can stop them and yeah, the ball played through here, Bremer. Up against Sam Lammers. I believe his first name is Sam, if I remember correctly. A Dutch striker. Messina now plays it in. Okay, Grimaldo. Callum Wilson somehow ended up at Atalanta. In fact, we haven't got this clear. How did we not get that clear though? And Atalanta are back in this game. We'll get a corner here, 75th minute. It's been a long time since the highlight. The fact that Atalanta are in this game is unreal. The fact we didn't get that one clear, that's poor defending. I'm going to work this one in here. Let's see about the it's going to be Messi on the header actually. Somehow it's going to go to Messi. Rabio on the strike, it's over the bar. And it's going to be a one-on draw against Atalanta, which isn't in the end of the world. Let's get into the final game of the season and lift the title. Before we get into the final game of the season, up against Palmer, who currently sit, I believe, at the bottom of the uh, Serie A table, so we get an easy win there, hopefully. I can see it's one point between us and Inter Napoli can still win the title, I believe. Yeah, they can. We need to get a win here. Inter Milan, who did they face? They face AC Milan in the derby for um, a spot in the top four. In the top three, sorry. AC Milan win that. Who's in Napoli place? Napoli plays uh, Lazio. So they have hard games. But we have a very easy game up against Palmer. So the title is in our hands. Let's get into the game up against Palmer. We're obviously going to give Messi the uh, captaincy on band so he can lift the title. Which unfortunately means Depay isn't going to be able to play this game. I'd rather have Kears on the pitch than Depay, you know what I mean? Depay's decided we've brought in Kears as a, um, a real life player of this team. And get Messi to captaincy here, convert him to a cam, so he goes at plus two. And yes, this is what we're going to run with. Actually, we're going to take uh, Moretti with us, the youngster. And anyone else we need to take with us? Uh, not really, that's, that's, the, that's the team we're going to take. It's the team we're going to start with, obviously, if we need to make any changes, we will do. But um, yeah, up against Palmer, it should be an easy win. So let's get into this game, we're going to play the full game here. And uh, yeah, let's hope we get a win up against Palmer. Well Two legends on the pitch, Messi and Buffon, obviously Buffon in net for Palmer. Messi on the pitch for us, and that's a great ball out to Kiesler. 
Chopping challenge there, missed by them. And Masrawi. What a finish by Masrawi. I don't think he's scored for us yet in this crew. I don't brought him in. But what a time to score. If that's a towel, if that's the goal to win us a title, and I'm more than happy just winning this game 1 0. Nothing Buffon could have done about that one. It's a fantastic finish from Masrawi. Chivalry attempt. And it's stunned by the fact Masrawi scored that. That was incredible from the right back. Now, as I mentioned, these are bottom of the table, so we should be able to beat them comfortably. Not guaranteed to be going down, but I get a feeling against us, they're going to play quite well. I should assume it's a great save there. A corner taken. Can we get this clear? Messi in their post. Not the player you want there. And they're level. I can tell you now. Messi. Vlahovic. Messi now looking to get in behind. Lionel Messi. Lionel Messi to beat Buffon. Yes, he does. Makes it 2 1 here. Lionel Messi. In my opinion, the greatest player of all time. I still obviously I respect Ronaldo. But in my eyes, Messi is just number one for me. And he's showing why in this career mode. He might just 36 37 and he's winning Serie A titles and like scoring big goals in the Champions League. What a goal that is from Messi. But it's a pretty easy finish for him to be fair. Nothing Buffon can do about that. Um, but he went up here. Okay, so Inter are beating AC Milan. We got a free kick here, Messi wins a free kick. As it sounds anyway, we are early winners. But here's a... I get some ball, penalty. Finish it to see. And we're going to give it to Vlavic, obviously, so we can try to become the top scorer of the league. Give some Vlavic now up against Buffon. Give some Vlavic, aim top left, and it's put into the back of the net. And as it stands, we are guaranteed league champions. Inter Milan might be beating AC Milan, but we're doing enough here against Parma, which we'd expect us to do, to be honest, considering the bottom of the league table and we're top. But we still have to win the game. And Vlavic, it's a great pen from him, sending a on the wrong way. And we're free one up. Well, that is Keza. I think our next fixture. Is this not our last game of the season? Oh, it's Champions League final. Oh my god, that would have been a great finish from Vlavic. And the low look finesse from range would have been absolutely incredible if that dipped in last second. But it hits the crossbar. I think Buffon had it covered though. Hit right Bremer, good work. No, Messi. Oh, Messi, that is incredible. Lionel Messi. Lionel Messi. He is so good, man. He is incredible. Now, what can I say? There's a reason why I actually brought him in. Because I knew he would be this good for me. He used him in that PSG one season crow mode. And for one season here in the event, it's crow mode. Or maybe two. If we do one of us, it's enough to this. And Messi puts it in the back of the net. Love to see it. Messi now. Vlaovic. Into Messi. Messi now. Jonathan with the ball. Messi from range. Saved by Buffon. Forced to Pogba though. Pogba though. Messi up here. And it falls to Buffon in the end. Pogba just couldn't quite control him. Oh, what a mistake. Buffon. That's a horrific mistake from Buffon. And Vlaovic gets himself another goal in this game. And this ensures that we are winning this game. The poor mistake from Buffon here. He misplaces the throw. Vlavic, first time strike. Incredible strike from him, to be honest. He's able to just rifle it into the back of the net from a distance. That's a great goal. And we're going to win this game here. He's going to keep that as one, uh, one, one clip here, so I don't have to cut anything. Bernabe here, coming forward though. Okay. Who's looking to make a statement of his own here? But Schlaubeck. Okay. There we go, that's full time. And we are Serie A champions in season two. We didn't win it in season one, but we'll win it in season two. And what a way to win it. Messi 
on real goal is Vlahovic on real goal Masrawi with an incredible goal early on oh, what a season it's been for Lionel Messi here in the swan song of his career it comes over to Turin and they still got the Champions League final to go he could end it maybe if he, if he retires it would be a good time for him to retire to be honest end it on a high but I think he has one more season in him but win the Serie A here in season 2 still haven't won the Coppa Italia we failed in season 1 and 2 we got further in season 1 and we did in season 2 actually as well got to the semi-finals last season got knocked out in the quarter-finals this season to Fiorentina last episode but here we are Serie A champions in season 2 we didn't win it last uh, last season due to Napoli we actually won it the team are going to be taking on in the Champions League final but Lionel Messi gets to win, lift the trophy he's never won in his career obviously never played in Italy but in this Crow Medi lose the Serie A title. And we will see that with the Champions League title. The title he has won in his career. You all know that. But what a feeling this will be for Messi. Not only has he shown what he can do here in this game by scoring some absolutely unreal goals. And it's been absolutely incredible all season long since he brought him in. But he gets to lift the title at the end of the season. It's been a hard season. We weren't at the top of the table up until the final like two months of the, of the season we weren't like we were fighting for the first spot for so long but a win against Napoli I believe we beat them or did we draw against them I can't remember but we've got some big wins which uh, put us top of the table and we're just able to continue that good form going on and on and on throughout the end of the season and here's the title picture let's get this in and that'll be the end of this cutscene because here we are, the Champions League final up against Napoli. They beat Barcelona in the semi-final to get through to this position. Which I was hoping they wouldn't do. I was hoping we could get a Messi v Barcelona in the Champions League final. Unfortunately, we don't. We have Napoli. A team who won the Serie A last season. So it is a chance for us to get one over them. I can say they've got a pretty decent team. It's not really a team that you'd expect to get to the Champions League final, really, when you look at it. But the summer made it here anyway. We're in the centre of Bernabeu, a team that we... A, a, a place we actually won against uh, Real Madrid. So we have a good record in the stadium. Let's not waste any time. Let's get into the Champions League final. Try to defend our crown. We won this last season. We won it in uh, season one. Hopefully Messi can lift the title this season though. As you can see, Captain Zonban playing Cam again. After the unreal performance against Palmer. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get into this game up against Napoli and win the Champions League. Here's an hour over the top to Messi. Messi now, it's a great first touch for Messi to bury it and it's saved by Murray. Here we get a corner. I've not put enough curl on this. Doesn't go to Vlavic. Messi now. Kostic. Lionel Messi on the strike and it's blasted wide. And Kostic. You can have one or two more attempts to do something in this game. Gets into Messi here, plays it through to Chiesa. Chiesa now shoots, have a wonder up here. Federico Chiesa opens the scoring for us in the Champions League final when assisted by Messi. It's all right work from Kostic. You know, that's not enough to really save himself in this career mode right now. Depending on his end season stats, I might make a decision on the next season. But Messi, it's great for the ball. To Chiesa, who buries it. Fantastic finish from him. Ball over the top here. How much Kovacic could I could already do with that? But handball gives him a free kick. Okay, Popper just about gets something on that, and somehow we're back level. What was that? Hey, why did Chesson not come out for that? Why did he like? Why did he start and then just leave it there? And what is that? Get ref play on. Go in a free kick low. Probably now to Kiesa. Okay, Kiesa now. Messi on the turn. Messi to make it 2 1. He does so. Lionel Messi. Well, I've just got no words to say. I've said all the words I can say about Messi. It's a good play here, some good play here, Vlavic plays it for some Messi on the turn. It's a great strike from him to put us back, back in the lead here. Ok, 
Okay, Zielinski now. And now Zielinski. Papa coming over, can't deal with it though. Bremer. Okay, and we're back level somehow. What is going on in this game? Why is Piotr Zielinski like the most dangerous midfielder in the board right now, apparently? But how haven't we deal with this? Put off on Chesney again. Like, I feel like Chesney should have made the save here. But his position isn't great there, and we're back level. Out to Andrew Silva. We whips it in towards Kovacic Keller, who forces a save from Chesney. Go on, what's in here? Schlotterbeck, please get that. Thank you. And. Are you, re are you actually, like, just. What do I want to say right now, but I'm not going to say them? Like, come on, man. Like. How are you going to do that to me in the game? Okay, and. We're down somehow. I'm going to bring another pie to take off Kostic. Kim Azrawi. Through to Messi. Need my Messi to get around the keeper, that's a penalty! And this is the other call from Murray. Claire penalty there, obviously. So Lince is going off, thankfully. And. Giving it to Messi. Yeah, no Messi to put his back level. Yeah, Messi! What a penalty that was from Lionel Messi. Across the second goal of the game, I believe. In a game that we should be winning comfortably. This should not be going down to the wire. I think it's a great penalty for Messi. A short run up, blast it into the top right corner. Nothing more I could do about that one. Grimaldo, why did he stop there, lad? I wanted him to like, full on press that. But Grimaldo, oh my god, Grimaldo. Add a hand on the Grimaldo. To get himself a rego. Grimaldo! Add a hand on the Grimaldo! That's great defensive work high at the pitch. And a great finish from Grimaldo. Who at times, like you can tell he's 84 rated, not the highest rated left back. But at times he feels higher rated than 84 as well. He has his ups and downs in this career mode. And right now this is one of his ups. He wins the ball high at the pitch. And that's a great finish from Grimaldo. Messi now. Near the Messi. Pogba now hits it. Pogba! What a strike from poor Pogba. He scored in the Champions League final last season. And he scores again this season. Assisted by Memphis by his former Man United teammate. And what a game this has been. We've had our ups and downs in this game. For like Napoli after so some of their goals. At the same time, we just do deserve to win this game. It's a great goal from Pogba. And we're back in the league. Well, we're two goals up now. There's only a quarter of minutes left though, so I understand why they've done that. Messi. That's actually Grimaldo gets it clear. Okay, now. Dusan Vlavic. Dusan Vlavic from all the way out. Dusan Vlavic finds the back of the net. And it's 6 3 here. A tense Champions League final. And once again, we're capitalising on a goalkeeper and coming up, a goalkeeper coming up on a corner late in the game. We've done it a couple of times in the Leverkusen career mode. We've done it in the uh, Juventus scrum mode. Here, Dusan Vlatovic hits it from range and it just bounces into the back of the net. What a great goal from Dusan Vlatovic that was. It's a long range strike. Obviously, it bounces before the goal, which takes a bit away from it, but we're going to take it anyway. And there we go, that should be the end of the game. And we are Champions League finalists winners. Two seasons in a row. We've won the league, we've won the Champions League. Only one title left, the Coppa d'Italia. And that might be one more season to win that title. As I want to win the treble here. And I might just try win this Champions League three times in a row with Juventus. Just to take them to the top of world football. You know, make them on the level of Real Madrid, which is back-to-back -back winners. As dominant champions. And what a fun it's been. It's had his ups, it's had his downs. But in the end, we get to lift the title. Lionel Messi gets one more Champions League title in his career. 
He's going, to, he's going to lift it one more time. Maybe the final time in his career. You never know. What a game it's been. Gramado, a great goal from him. That was one of the bigger goals of the game to win that ball and put it into the back of the net. But Leo Messi, what a season this man's had. And he gets uh, the Champions League title, the Serie A title in the season. In this first season of Sharon, it's been productive. And what a signing has been on a free transfer from PSG. They let him go for free. And we brought him in and won two titles with him in our team. And so why a player like Messi is still valuable to this day. He's just a winner. He's got a mentality to win games. He wants to win it so much, he will win it. That's open. That's open. What I'm, that's hopefully what we're going to see with the World Cup this, uh, this year. Obviously, as an Englishman, I want England to win the World Cup. But if England don't win it, I want this man to win the World Cup. Lionel Messi. Uh, what I've seen this is we won it last season, obviously, but I feel like it means more this season with Messi and our team. And we're going to get the photos in the second head, and we're going to check out the players' stats, show you how the players performed, and yeah, just wrap up the end of the season. Obviously, here's the team photo. And I kind of wish the captain was more central, you know what I mean? Because Messi's going to be... Where's Messi in this photo? Not sure where Messi is, actually. He's on the left, okay. But let's see the team photo, and let's go to the player stats. And here we are, the player stats of season 2. As you can see, what a season we do some Vlavic. 38 goals and 7 assists in 41 games. Incredible for him. Chiesa 15 and 6, incredible for him, and Messi, 20 goal involvements in 19 games as a 36 year old. He's gone down to minus 4 which is really annoying because I don't think he deserves to go down to a minus 4. But he has done, uh, Mancini 8 and 1, good season from him in the second team. Depay, 4 and 6, not bad. Pogba 6 and 6. Kai Jorge out on loan at Hellas Verona, so quite well, 6 and 14. Moise King, kind of disappointing for him in the second team. Mariake has done quite well, Fagioli done well, Soleil's done alright, did better last season though, and Moretti's done pretty good. But um, if, I do do this, if I do do a season 3, I just want to go through one more thing. Before we end. Uh, Grimaldo's got 25, love that. That's one thing I was going to mention, the fact it's not grown. Okay, defence, we won't change anything about that if we do go into another season. Zakaria, like how many games did he play? Play three games. I've, I've had him not transfer listed. I, well, I did have him transfer listed for the longest time. We'll sell him. I feel like we're going to sell Kostic. Like, last season he had like, I can't remember how much it was, but he had like double, he had way more than he had this season. Eight goal involvements in 43 games. This isn't good enough. As a 31 year old, I feel like we just move him on. I feel like Rabio could move in as well. He only played 16 times. And Moretti, Fagioli, and Ravello are coming through. And maybe we'll sell Pogba. That's one thing we could also do. So Pogba, move him on. Obviously two seasons back in Turin. He's won the league title, won two uh, Champions Leagues. He could look for a new challenge. And maybe we could give Ravella the first in position. That could be a good uh, thing for him. Obviously Moretti and Fagioli are our backups. The two young talents. Yeah, Tadan, I think we'll just sell him. Because he's not getting game time. Elling Junior comes back from his loan. Got a bunch of uh, talents there. Like, youth academy players. That we're going to loan out. And um, yeah, what a season it's been. And I'm going to just think about whether I want to do a season for it with this team to try and win the Champions League three times in a row, win the Coppa d'Italia, win the Serie A again. Let's see what we can do. Let's have one season where it's just a bit of fun. Or maybe we'll move on to another crow mode. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.